Fellow Dominicans, pleasant good evening to everyone. I am here to inform and update you on the COVID-19 situation, which is in keeping with the normal practice of the Ministry of Health. The Ministry has been actively involved in extensive case identification programs. As a matter of fact, today we carried out 118 rapid tests in the Lapland Health District, more specifically Delis and La Roche, all of which were negative. This was carried out by three dedicated district health teams, whom we are extremely proud of. Today, our lab at the Dominica China Friendship Hospital also reported 23 more results, all of which were negative as well. This approach of case identification, along with social distancing, is of paramount importance in containing the spread of COVID-19, as outlined by PAHO and other international experts. Social distancing must continue, and in this regard, I must express my deepest thanks and appreciation to the people of the Delis and La Roche community and the Lapland Health District by extension for their cooperation in implementing the home quarantine practices. I must also express thanks to the Parliamentary Representative Honorable Kent Edwards for his leadership and assistance in fighting COVID-19 in his constituency. The Primary Healthcare Division and his Lapland Health Team have been at the forefront in this fight and for this, we salute your dedication and effort, which serves as an example to the rest of Dominica. Dominica, though blessed not to be harshly impacted thus far, cannot take this for granted and must ensure that we take all precautions to safeguard the health, well-being, and lives of our people. Sadly, some of our people have not heeded the calls for cooperation and the exercise of personal and collective responsibility and have been failing and or refusing to adhere to the guidelines, protocols, and pleas of the health authorities. This action is detrimental to the health, well-being, and lives of our people and cannot therefore be permitted to continue unchecked. It has therefore become necessary for the government to take stronger legislative action to protect the nation and its residents. The Constitution of Dominica protects certain fundamental rights and freedoms of all persons within Dominica, but it also provides for those individual rights and freedom take second place for the collective benefit of all Dominicans. The provision set out in what I will call the COVID-19 regulations are limited to those determined to be necessary to improve the effectiveness of the state in protecting the people of Dominica from the ravages of this pandemic. This is to be done in the first instance through the Environmental Health Services Act No. 8 of 1997 and regulations. In particular, new regulations in the form of the Environmental Health Services COVID-19 Regulations 2020 will take effect from 10 p.m. today, Saturday 20th March 2020, and the general provisions will remain in force until Saturday 18th April 2020, unless the minister by order notifies otherwise. However, the provision providing for a curfew will only have effect from 10 p.m. Saturday 20th March 2020 until 8 a.m. Tuesday 31st March 2020, unless the minister by order published in the Gazette extends this. The following are provided for under the regulation. Isolation of person infected or suspected to be infected with COVID-19. Special restrictions and requirements on persons arriving from outside Dominica. Closure of the air and seaports. 
requirement proposition of truthful information, requirements to notify the authorities of symptoms, prohibition of gathering of more than 10 persons, curfew, closure of schools. Failure to comply with any of the provisions of the Environmental Health Services Act and regulations is an offense, and under the provision of the Environmental Health Services Act 1997, a person guilty of an offense under these provisions may receive a fine of $10,000 and imprisonment for 12 months. We are hopeful that our people will fully cooperate and there will be no need to enforce these provisions. It is in the best interest of all of us in Dominica that we all heed the guidance and request of the health authorities. May God bless us all. I thank you.